All right, so um, I've got this uh, soccer ball I designed that I want to be show off at a show this weekend. So uh, I've, I've kind of test built it, and I even built it in Bricklink, as you Bricklink Studio, as you can see here. So now I want to construct it. So, um, so anyway, I've got uh, my clips here, or my bar clips. I'm gonna have a cup. I have some one by ones just to help increase um, the clutch power, if you will. That's probably too big of a cup there. Um, I have my always favorite hinge bricks in white here. Um, I have a whole big thing of, what is it? Uh, two by four plates. It's overflowing. I had to tape it closed. Unfortunately, I had to get these off of Bricklink. I did not find them at a Lego pick a brick, even though I'm using a pick a brick cup. So I'll just pull them out of the cup here. All right. And I also have the clips in another cup. So I have five different pieces uh, for building the white part of the soccer ball. Okay, so just to kind of show you all the pieces that are required for this build, it's uh, not a lot of pieces, um, but uh, you know, you do need a lot of them. So I need 60 of the black bars, uh, 60 of the white bars, uh, 120 two by threes, 60 of the black hinges, 120 white uh, one by one rounds plates, one by two plate bar white, 60, 120 clips, uh, 240, that's why I have so many here, uh, two by four plates, and 120 one by four hinges plates. So a lot going on, in, a lot of repetitive building in this, in this setup here, I guess is what I would say. All right, so step one in the build is to build 20 of these plates here uh, as you can see they consist of um, this pattern here so I mean I don't know what the order I'm gonna do this is uh, maybe I'll start by building three of these is it even better without the light I don't know you tell me it's uh, definitely uh, subtle difference here the goal was to light my bench here but i think it's just the with the white it's just too much all right we have good contrast or whatever all right and so then this one will get the clip here and just make sure i can hear myself all right and uh and then a hinge piece and i'm putting them on the left side according to this diagram because each one gets one so I need three of these guys now unfortunately I do not have enough of the black bars so I'm going to have to change out my build on this uh, piece here I have to flip it out to a bar uh, it's just part of the challenges of collecting enough pieces for a build I thought I had enough and did not yeah, you know, I have plenty in different colors, just not all black. All right, so I got th three of those. And now I can assemble the other ones. Um, and this is really uh, the whole um, right side portion of the build here, uh, where I have a clip and a bar, is really to kind of make it even um, a stronger version of the, the soccer ball where things don't fall apart so easy. So that's the other piece. Clip, bar, hinge, two by four. Clip is always on the right. If I can, can keep uh, the order of these fine, then they clip together just nicely. So That was a nice discovery, because a lot of times when assembling these, as they call them, virus spheres, um, 
I I'm commonly have to switch out the clips and the bars to make them compatible with one another because I don't always label the order in which to assemble them. All right, so now I have three of each. Per the instructions, I can now put them in a ring, and I want to alternate the types. So uh, because of the the hexagon um, pentagon combination I'm making, the setup is supposed to be like this. You know, these bars I actually got from Pick a Brick, but they are already yellow faded. So, <sighs> yeah, nothing's perfect. So, and then in step two, uh, I put <laughs> I put the caps on. All right, I'm just gonna go with the light on because it makes it easier. So that's one. One is done. Oh, I see. This is negative for me. Let me say if, if uh, I put that left over. No, that's not. Wait, I want to make flip this around. I thought it made sense to have it this way, but I think it makes more sense for me to have it this way. All right, and then I'm gonna mirror it. All right, now it makes sense to me which direction everything is in. Uh, my hands are right here. Okay, uh, I gotta turn this into a factory now. Let's see, I have a, I need 240 of these white bricks. Seems like a lot. Uh, I guess 120 base ones and then 120 caps so I could be doing these things for a long time and when you have to do a Lego assembly line it's you know what what's your order I have another 30 minutes that I can be doing this before my next meeting so but it needs to get done today because uh, tomorrow I'm setting up for the show please be recorded Wow, I'm getting fast. All right. How many of these do I need again? One for every white hinge I have. I guess I can just stack these up at one point, so. Create a new cup of just two by fours with hinges. Notice both sides um, get the hinge, so that's why I'm just kind of doing that first. And then I'll go back and differentiate the two sides. Have you ever done 120 of something in Lego? I think it goes a little bit faster. You got about over two dozen now, but that's only 25% of the way. You have here when I'm like more halfway done. Some of these bricks are a little on the yellow side, so. I have another video up there where I took these two by fours and clean, um, 
put them under in hydrogen peroxide and UV light. Yeah, I'm just gonna go until I run out of hinges. I'm, you know, the way I estimated the number of hinges, I mean, I bought extra hinges, obviously, just in case, you know, one breaks or something. Um, but uh, I actually weigh these out with a scale. You know, I know what the weight of one of these hinge pieces are. Um, so I multiplied that by 120 and weighed that out. So I'm curious how accurate it is, uh, but I won't know until I'm done assembling. some background music or something but then I get flagged for copyright violations or something I feel like I'm halfway I don't know if that's the truth but that's what I feel like I'm gonna put these in a car Casualty there. All right. <laughs> That's good. Enough. All right. Oh, I've gotten out of my routine. All right. I wonder if I can do a two step routine seems too easy to be doing one you just do one thing you get two pieces you click them together and you do the next one i feel like if i tried to like assembly line like half of the, the next two steps it would not go as smoothly white ones have teeth marks on them. I thought I bought these new. Maybe I bought these new. I definitely bought all the, the clips came from Pick a Brick. Isn't that as random? I went to the Northbrook Pick Brick on my birthday and I'm like, oh, we have too many Pick a Brick pieces. So we got, we put all the extras on this table over here and then we have all these extras in the back. And I'm like, and I saw they had both types of clips. And I'm like, I want those. <laughs> Not only do I have um, enough to build, but I have like this whole bag here of extras if I want to build something else. So. Maybe I should have bought double and then I could start, I could sell these soccer balls to people or something. I'm curious how many hours it takes me to assemble one. Maybe I can, it'd be nice if it's something I can get my kids to do, but they're, not as cooperative. And I wanted to record it. I guess that's a challenge to have multiple people in the video recording. I'm hoping this thing's strong enough that once I get it assembled, it will just be tough enough that I don't need to disassemble it for future shows. Three left. One. All right. I 
think they are all assembled. I'll set aside those. All right, so I got maybe one cup for the, the one clip and just one cup for the two clips. So these will all be the two clip ones, so. So I need all my bars and half my clips. And what did I say? Bar on the left, clip on the right. Sorry, all the way around. Clip on the left, bar on the right. Done. At least the piles are in the right spot. yellow pieces are going to come back to bite me in the ass. I'm going to look at this soccer ball and it's going to look like too yellow and I'm going to have to go and replace all the pieces. Well, if anybody wants to buy a semi-yellow soccer ball that I can use the funds to make a white one, that would be excellent. How many pieces did I say are in this thing? A lot. Um, over a thousand, so we're definitely talking over a hundred dollars um, if you're doing the ten cents piece type of thing. Man, a lot of emails are coming in. Students complaining I'm giving a midterm right now. I'm just gonna... Didn't have time to close out the midterm because the advising has started, so. Gave an extension, which might anger some people, but. All right, I'm getting the sense. Whenever this cup was half, it's already full. <laughs> so, do I have a third cup? Oh, I do have a third cup. From all the empty bars. Third cup's in my way. Adding the clip makes them not pack as well. I should look up some free non-copyright music I could play during this time. Of course I can add it in post, but it doesn't help me any. Can't even listen to a podcast. I'm watching House of the Dragon. I'm enjoying listening to podcasts on it as well. That says I have six Slack messages I haven't read.
the number of bars is telling me I'm short, so I'm going to take one from the haircut. Again, I didn't count them, I just weighed them, so. All right, I've assembled all of the double clip pieces. Now for the single clip. I'm kind of regretting the adding the two one by one round plates. I thought the extra clutch power would be worth it. I was hoping, my goal was to make the soccer ball strong enough that I could kick it at a reasonable hit. It's not like, you know, trying for a goal in actual um, association football soccer. But uh, enough that one could play with it, for instance. And so that's why I added additional clutch power. I'm adding uh, double clips, as you saw. Uh, the single clips are for connecting to the pentagons, and I'm adding these one by one rounds for additional clutch power. It seemed to work in my um, test model. My soccer ball is a little on the large side. I just I could not come up with a way to get the hexagons any smaller, or the pentagons as well, um, without losing significant fidelity. Um, you'll see my pentagon design is uh, slightly different, and that is uh, because the pentagons need to um, ha take up a smaller amount of um, area than, than hexagons. So a soccer ball is made up of pentagons and hexagons. The pentagons are in black, the hexagons are in white. Now I could have gone with some other colors. Uh, for example, I have lots of all of these in red. I don't. I guess I don't have two by four red plates, so I could have made like a red soccer ball. But I thought I'd go with the white. And I don't know. White again has the yellowing problem, so I should maybe thought about doing the gray. What do you think? If you had to choose two colors for a soccer ball, I mean, maybe I can go with the more fancier designs they used, like in FIFA. But the World Cup starts this uh, Thanksgiving, if I'm not mistaken. World Cup 2022. Um, in Qatar? It's in the Middle East. In the hot Middle East, which I guess uh, Northern Hemisphere, they're doing it in the winter. But uh, I mean, when you're that close to the equator, I can't imagine a huge difference between winter and summer. The direction of the water, ocean currents, I don't know. I didn't look at the long-term forecast, but I'm sure the organizers did. <sighs> keep pushing, keep pushing. How much time do I have time? Anybody want to guess how long it's going to take me to do this? Uh, I should have done this live stream. I'm just saving it to my computer. But uh, I'm so focused that I wasn't even able to do the chat, so... Next time, live stream. Don't need to tell me how washed out the lighting is. I don't get this much washed out. Has to, I guess it has to do with the camera. I need a camera that can uh, close its aperture a little bit better. Instead of a Logitech webcam. I have another camera because it's wide, the angle is much more narrow, so, but it is interchangeable lenses, so in theory I could set that up, have it close its aperture significantly more. I even changed the background, I used to have a white background, now it's black and more matte. Ugh, confusing myself. My hands are confused. Those one by one rounds are 
brutal. Looking forward to the next step. It's much more fulfilling making hexagons than constructing these little guys. I knew this was gonna take a while. I didn't expect the, the finger fatigue as much. So. Like chain mail gloves. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have the dexterity. Let's see how dry my hands are though. out the one by ones I don't think I did but I ordered the exact amount from Brooklyn so if I, if I run out of the one by ones I have more in my cup over here um, looks like I have more clips than hinges right now so Bricklink needs an updated uh, way. I mean, they don't have a lot of decimal places, which is frustrating um, to me. <clears throat> okay, hexagon time. Pile one. Pile two. I just noticed I missed one. Hiding in the back there. So again, I take three from pile one, three from pile two, and then I connect them in alternating fashion. To create a hexagon, okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna add top plates to the double ones, because I know I don't have to change those, but I'm probably gonna, because I'm missing some of the black clips, I'm gonna have to swap out some of these. So I'm just gonna do it. Half. All right. <sighs> Two hexagons are done. Maybe it's better if I count them out. Three. Good. 
two, three, one, two, making 20 of these and so maybe I should stack to five um, so that's five six oh that's pretty yellow Seven. I think I have to take a break after I'm done with these hexagons. This is too much before I start the black, and then I'll come back and assemble. Ten, ten. Okay, so two stacks at five now. I am halfway done. I'm getting the sense I don't have enough of the single clip ones. I mean, I'm on the second half, so it doesn't make sense that uh, I'm using my second cup.
15. Sixteen. Will he have enough? You're probably counting ahead, but I'm not. Seventeen. Yeah, I admit it's not hard that count that hard to count ahead to see that I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, I got more clips though. One. And I have one left, so I need to make more of those. Alright, so I, have, I need to make two more, so I need six of these, but I have eight, so I don't need so many of those. I just move these over, get rid of the clips. All right, that should get me there. Nineteen. And twenty. All right, I got twenty pieces. Good to go. One of the things I thought is since it's Halloween is coming up, I bought all these uh, web things. So I might uh, add like the clip here and then put uh, web in and everything. That works pretty well. Hmm. So my soccer ball will have cobwebs on it. Neat. Oh, same with those guys. Got a whole bunch of little spiders too. All right, so these can be set aside. And I can work on the black pieces. Blacks are, are quite different here. Um, I 
They're made up of two by threes. hinges and ideally bars but I'm gonna have to use clips as well my th original thought was hey I'll use all bars for the the black pieces and then I don't have to think about how things connect together and it'll make my life so much more simple but uh, it was not to be all right, so I, I can start by constructing a whole bunch of these. I think I only have half enough of a black one by two bar. These are all the bars that I have in black. So I was thinking I could use white or I could use gray or, you know, I have black clips. So it means I just need to switch everything on the white pieces but at least they will be color coordinated. And so it's like, is color more important than the ability to construct? I don't know. A lot more blacks, not a lot more bars. I don't think I have enough even black clips to do it. I think I'll just use white bars and then since the white will be touching the white, it'll blend in a little bit better. Alright, so that's it for the black bars. <clears throat> so the next step is to put the clip hinges on it. The reverse of what I was doing before, so I guess this should have been the base piece. These blacks are nice and shiny. All right, I guess I gotta stop here. Got to do some advising. I have like thirty seconds. Ugh. So that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these clips and I assemble them into pentagons. It's a kind of elegant way of doing it. So these are not hexagons, these are pentagons. And I don't need to make 20 of these, but I do need to make 12, so. And then I'll put another um, two by threes on top, so. Maybe I do have enough. I was going by the number of two by threes, but I forgot the two by threes are doubled. Sorry, shiny arm there, but that's this is the Pentagon, and I'll continue assembling that later. I got two done, only 10 more to go.